Hi students, uh, today I am here to explain about the corporate styles of uh, chapter number 14 that how to create the styles into your word document so when we are dealing with the styles almost in every paper of uh, Cambridge examination they ask you to create the corporate styles so you need to understand that first so I'm moving forward to the task here according to your textbook moving towards the task which is 14a in this task they ask you that to open the document you save in task 13h so I have the document here create store and use the following style in this document so you need to create the styles in this document so these styles include header and footer style before i start with the styles there is something very important to understand that there are two types of fonts actually the fonts are categorized into two main categories one is serif another one is sans serif now what is the difference between serif and sans serif like here for example if i type the word T and I make this font size bigger so if you look at this font the T this font is written just into straight design there is nothing else here but if you just select this one times new roman if you look at this font, this font has some strokes. So I always uh, prefer to use Times New Roman. That is an example of serif font. And then we have sans serif. Sans serif means without any strokes. Do you look at this font now? It doesn't have any stroke. So it is a straight font. That's why it is called sans serif font. And serif font the one which has some strokes like this now moving forward to create the style for creating style you need to click on home then you need to click on style tab on this option here just to click on more and then you just need to click on save selection as a new quick style and then you need to name it for example I am going to name my style header Oh, this style name already exists so click on ok I am going to name it for example header 14a and then just click on modify what they ask us to do is they want the font size serif so as I said earlier serif example is times new roman then the font size they want to be 10 point so just select 10 point and then they ask you to uh, align to top margin to top page margin so it must be aligned to top ma uh, page margin so in this case click on for, uh, format then paragraph so they said alignment to the left center it is there and then uh, we have already the option of that it is at the top so no need to make any changes in this step it is already aligned to the top of the margin and then after we need to make the text bold enhancement means bold italic and underline so just click ok here and then make it bold so when you click and make it bold just click on ok so one style is created with the name header 14a now i'm going to create one more style which is footer 14a footer 14a now modify it has also the same uh, thing to do with so font style is time new roman then bold look at this one based on 14a so you just click here select font 14a then 12 and now choose 10 and then after bold and click on left alignment and then just click on 
ok so both the styles are created now what you need to do is then create store and use the following style in this document so you need to apply this to for example select the header and footer and apply the now this is the footer so I'm going to apply the footer style to it and then here is the header I will select the header and apply the header style to it so this is how we create and apply the slides styles just click on ok now and moving forward to some other kind of styles as well in our document they ask us to uh, open your task 14a it is our task 14a now I'm going to save this one as uh, 14a now yeah 14a and we'll save it in chapter 14 here now this time they ask you that add the text winter wonder land or w e o e as a new main heading so as a new main heading i have to go to the top and press an enter then i need to enter or type winter wonder land or w o e question mark and then as a new heading so i am done with the new heading then they ask us that main heading style at the start of the letter create and store and use the following style in this document so you need to create some styles now so first style they call we need to name it heading so i am going to the end of the document so there is no font selected by default i am just going to click on new style and that is for heading chapter 14a and then click on modify here sense serif sense serif means arial it's a uh, best example of uh, uh, sense serif font then font size they want 24 point and then alignment they want right then they want it bold and italic and then after they ask us to have single line spacing so just click on format paragraph line spacing single and then after before spacing 0 and after spacing 6 so select 6 from here then click on ok ok a style is created now one more style need to be created as well with the name subheading so we are just going to name it subheading modify and this one also send serif and 16 point this time and this one must be center align and uh, only underline no bold no italic only underline single line spacing and after line spacing is 6 like it is click on ok ok the style is created one more last style is body body of the document this one must be serif font then 11 point and then left align no enhancement no bold no italic no underline single and after line spacing is 11 so we just type it 11 ok then just click on ok now what we need to do is we need to apply these styles for example I apply to it our heading this one is our subheading then this one is our uh, subheading as well and now I will select this paragraph and apply to it the body style then this one as well body then here till this point we'll apply the body styles so this is how we create styles in our 
document and then at the end we just need to click on save as so that we can use this document for further tasks thanks for watching